and how's it going there? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Kenan, and today guys, well, we are here to do another drift build. So, this was again recommended by you guys, this one in particular was recommended by Mick, it is the 2017 Camaro ZL1. Now, the biggest problem I had with building this car, and the reason we're not starting with the build, is there's no drift suspension. None. There's race and rally, that's it. So, the car is built, the car is done, um, uh, basically doing this video flip. So, I'm going to show you at work, and then I'm going to go through, th go through the build. But, um, this one was a bit more interesting, a bit more difficult to build. Um, and it is a lot more difficult to drive. Um, so obviously, with no drift suspension, look, look how much angle we get on the tyres. Look how much angle we get. Virtually none. Like, a tiny, tiny bit of angle. So... You know, with the other car, the Skyline and the 350, I'm able to throw it in the corner and, you know, throw angles and catch it. You cannot do this in this car. This car will not take a lot of angle. It will just spin out. You don't have the angle of the wheels to catch it, so you don't have the grip and what you need to catch the wheels, okay? Um, yeah, simple as that. It's not an angle. This is built to be a race car by a Chevrolet. And obviously Forza was like, well, it's a race car, so no drift suspension for you. I don't know why every car just doesn't have drift suspension, but anyway, they decided this one doesn't get it. So uh, let's get into it, and then we'll go through the build, guys. So as always, we're going to go down Drift Mountain, just to be consistent. Now, like I said, this is not going to be a great score, because I just I can't throw crazy angle. See how little angle I'm actually throwing right now? It's just because you literally can't throw crazy angle at all. And you can't throw the car either. You have to be very careful. You have to slowly transition. You can't just throw it into a corner and hope for the best. You've got to really transition very slowly. It's amazing how differently you have to drive when it comes to less caster on the wheels, you know, less less turning angle. It means you have to drive totally different. Now, the way I built this is, I didn't want to just throw in, you know, 1100 horsepower and, oh, I win, you know. I wanted to make it a little more interesting than that, so... I didn't really put many performance parts in terms of horsepower in. Uh, I wanted to focus more on, you know, the tune and just making it work with almost as she is. Um, I did put a bit of power in. Uh, off the top of my head, I did flywheel, exhaust, and the supercharger. I think those are the big performance parts that I put in in terms of power. I'm uh, pretty sure we're sitting at 800 horses anyway, because this car sits at you know 600 or something stock. It's ridiculous. So, you know, didn't really need that big horsepower boost. Like I said, this thing could probably go up to 1100 horsepower if you really wanted it to, but. You know, didn't want to do that. Wanted to be a bit more interesting than that. But there we go. There is the downhill. You know, 300,000 score is not a bad score as a whole. Uh, especially without the angle kit. But, uh, this car can still be used as an ordinary race car. It won't do very well because of how soft I made the suspension. The suspension is very soft. As you guys know, I do prefer quite soft suspension in my drift cars. It just helps you transition a little bit better. Um, you know, with the weight transfer. See, I just couldn't throw it in hard enough there. I was too scared about over-rotating. Alrighty, let's get into the festival and show you guys how she was built. Now, this is going to be a shorter video, obviously, because normally what makes it longer is me building it with you guys, but... Alright, let's go through nice and easily. Did not touch anything in here at all. Still rear wheel drive. Still comes with the stock centrifugal. Uh, sorry, not centrifugal supercharger. Positive displacement supercharger. Um, yeah, didn't touch anything in there. Didn't touch the error. I thought the car looked quite nice as she was. Um, I put the rally tires on. Now this car comes stock with race tires. Super, super, super grippy tires. I wanted to take those grippy tires away. Uh, rally tires don't have the same sort of grip as the race tires do on the road, so less grip makes it easier to slide, makes the tires easier to spin, so overall made my life a lot easier. So, race tires. 
<laughs> rally tires, rally tires, rally tires. I'm, don't listen to me. Uh, I didn't adjust the tire width at all. Again, I didn't want this kind of more grip. I needed less grip because it already came with a lot of grip. So, um, stock tire widths on both front and rear. I put some nice wheels on it. Uh, I think they're multi-piece wheels. There you go. These are the wheels I put on. I think they look pretty cool. Added a little bit of muscle to the car. Uh, painted them matte black, obviously. Um, uh, they're the 1552 forged uh, 2PC Outlaw 001s. Looked really, really nice. I thought, yeah, let's go with that. Why not? Uh, again, I didn't change the front or rear rim size. Didn't see the need. They looked really, really good that size. Uh, everything in drivetrain maxed it out. You know, everything with gears, gear changing, gear tuning, stuff like that is all here. Max it out. <clears throat> um, then we have performance and handling. So we've got race brakes. We have, like I said, rally suspension. Uh, we have uh, the front roll bars, the rear roll bars. We have the cage. And I did lighten the car as well. Again, I didn't want this car to weight transfer really, really easily. I wanted a little bit of weight for transfer, but not a lot. Because again, I don't have that front caster, the front angle, to throw the wheel and catch the car mid-drift. I have to transition really slowly and really smoothly. I need as little weight as possible, okay? So made the car nice and light. Uh, lastly, again, we have the power. Um, like I said, I didn't do very much. A lot of this is just stock. There you go. So yeah, race exhaust I did put in. Uh, cams are still stock, stock valves, stock displacement, um, stock pistons. Did beef up the uh, supercharger, and I did do the flywheel. So we're sitting at 561 kilowatts, which is... Sorry, hang on a sec. Uh, 561. 752 horsepower. So it's a lot of power. You know, obviously I could crank this thing up to 1100 pretty easily. More than likely, but you know, 752 horsepower, that's a lot of power, man. It's obviously more than the 500 horses we had last time, so yeah, plenty of horsepower. Like I, like I said last time, 700 to 800 is my favorite horsepower range, so it worked really well for me. Now, with regards to tuning, I maxed out the differentials, didn't touch the brakes. I thought about doing some front, front, some front brake bias. I didn't quite get to that by the time we got the car working. So again, if anything, a little front brake bias, but not much. Aero, can't touch it, obviously. Um, as always, I softened the hell out of the dampeners, softened the hell out of the springs. I made the car level. Um, I don't really know if that changed it all too much, but I just wanted the car to sit nice and flat, so that's what I did. Uh, soft roll bars. Uh, the camera, I put to negative five. Uh, just so when the tires are turned, there's as much rubber on the road as possible. Just so that when I have turned the wheels, I have as much grip as I can in the front end. Just to carry me through that corner while the back tires are spinning. Um, five might be a little too much camber, but it seems to work. Um, yeah, simple as that. Uh, negative 1.5 in the rear, just so the tires are cammed out a little bit. Just so the rear has that little less grip. Uh, I gave the front car so as much angle as I could. Uh, I really wish I had an angle kit to give me more, but I just maxed out as much as I could. Gearing, I didn't really do too much with gearing, just purely because the horsepower and the torque kind of almost make the gearing irrelevant. Um, I did gear it a little towards acceleration over speed though, so it is a little bit closer to acceleration, purely so the gears are a little bit closer together and it will rev a bit faster, simple as that. Um, and tires didn't have to touch. The rally tires were were um, you know good enough to have a little less grip overall. So I didn't have to fiddle with tire pressures too much. But that's the build, guys. That's the reason for what I did. What I did. Um, to be honest, it's not a very good drift car. This car is built as a race car. It is that simple. It is not a drift car. It is a race car. Uh, obviously, not getting drift suspension makes things a little more difficult. But that is my Camaro, guys. Hope you all did enjoy. Thank you again, Mick, for your recommendation on a build. Uh, if you guys have anything you guys want to see, please leave it down below. I'm happy to build almost anything. But yeah, guys, we'll call that a video. Hope you all enjoyed. See you next time.